Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jake with Pac-Man Sports on the video that you may have been waiting for and that is who will replace Maurice Drayton as the special teams Packers coordinator? Well, I have a list of some several qualifying qualifying candidates. There are two that are very well known that I'm going to list as your top two and then a few names that are actually pretty foreign to most of you. So I'm just going to give you throw out some names that are that that very well could be on the Packers radar and do not be surprised if the Packers bring them in for an interview. So I'll start off with the three unknowns. The first one right here see you see right here is Braden Coombs. Braden has been a an assistant special teams coach with the Cincinnati Bengals for 8 years before going on to being the special teams coordinator with the Detroit Lions last year and then he was unfortunately fired by that staff and he was left uh, unemployed for the entire 2021 season but he was a candidate back in 2019 for the special for the Packers special teams coordinator job but ultimately Matt LaFleur decided to hire Sean Menenga instead of Brayton the reasons why are unknown I suppose they probably just had a little bit more faith in Menenga and maybe Brayden Coombs was probably it's possible he could have been looking for another job elsewhere or he wanted to stick with the Cincinnati Bengals but he was in consideration for the job and the Packers said decided to go forward with uh, hiring Sean instead another one is Matt Daniels he has been a four-year a special teams assistant with the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. So when you ever think of Los Angeles Rams, that's right, you think of Sean McVay and the connection that Matt LaFleur has to the Rams. So Matt Daniels, even though he didn't necessarily work with Matt LaFleur in his time with the Rams, Matt Daniels wound up going over to being the special teams assistant with John Fossil, another name that is connected with Sean McVay and the Los Angeles Rams. I'm pretty sure Sean is going to put in a good word to Matt about um, Matt Daniels, who has been a pretty good solid special teams coordinator, I'm sorry, assistant to the coordinator John Fossil with the Rams and the Dallas Cowboys in which they've been able to field some some, some solid special teams over the years with Matt and along with John Fossil with the both both the Los Angeles Rams and the Dallas Cowboys. And the third man you see to the right to to the right here is Tracy Smith. Tracy Smith has been an assistant special teams coach for the Seattle Seahawks last year and then prior to that he was with the Houston Texans in which he helped turn things around for the Houston Texans. Before that, the Texans special teams was pretty abysmal, and then they got better and they turned things around in Houston. Tracy Smith has worked with uh, Larry Izzo, who has been fielding one of the best special teams with Seattle, and he's been just a very good successful player uh, in general. He is known for being a special teams ace, really, for the New England Patriots before becoming a coach and fielding some good special teams units throughout his time. Tracy Smith appears to be following in his footsteps and is doing a really good job with Seattle. So do not be surprised if the Packers look at Tracy for a possibility for an interview. And now on to the two men that everybody here is probably familiar with. And those names are Rich Bisaccia and Joe Judge. Yes, we'll start off with Joe Judge, nine years of experience as a special teams coach with the New England Patriots in that Bill Belichick tree before becoming on the head coach of the New York Giants and unfortunately failing there. He had three years prior to becoming the special teams assistant uh, with the Alabama Crimson Tide. No surprise, Bill Belichick likes his Crimson Tide guys. And then we lastly we have Rich Bisaccia. This guy is probably arguably the most qualified candidate out of anybody and people that are going to be needing or teams that are going to be needing special teams coordinators will be going after Rich at all haste. 19 years of experience uh, with Tampa Bay, San Diego, Dallas, the Oakland and the Las Vegas Raiders. He's also been an assistant head coach with all of those teams. So except for San Diego and Pretty much to say the least, Rich is going to be the most sought after for the for for the is, is going to be the most sought after for the sought after for the Packers. They have contacted him, and there is a tweet that I'm going to put up uh, confirming the uh, contacting with the Packers, looking to possibly bring in Rich for an interview. And 
Also, so is the Chicago Bears. They are the other team that is also looking for the services of Rich Bisaccia to be their new special teams coordinator. After all, they are starting over completely straight from scratch with the hiring Matt Eberflus uh, with that in place. Uh, there's definitely going to be some rebuilding with some other teams around that could possibly be searching for Rich Bisaccia for a head coaching job. Possibly he was an interim head coach for the Las Vegas Raiders and did a very good job with the Raiders and he coached this team to the playoffs and they did a very good job after John Gruden was pretty much fired from the Las Vegas Raiders and we know how that went down with the Raiders. So those are five names that you should look out for for the Packers to potentially bring in for interviews and there are some other names too you can probably jot them down in the comments if you would like there are some other really good candidates but just do not be surprised if you see Braden Coombs, Matt Daniels, Tracy Smith uh, being on that list. There are some other candidates too that are very much well in place there could be some special teams coordinators that could be looking to move to, Green, to the Green Bay Packers um, but the reason why I'm going with assistance is because I really think that some guys want to be able to work their way up to being special teams coordinators. That's why I have uh, Braden, Matt, and Tracy all potentially being names to look out for for the Green Bay Packers in hiring as the new special teams coordinator in Green Bay for the 2022 season. And with that, I'll catch you guys later for another one sometime soon. And as always, go Pat, go.